and girls, babies in your diapers, welcome to the Tiberius Show with your host, Tiberius Foy. That's me, Tiberius. Today, we're going to talk about some very awesome stuff. We have a very cool video to talk about, a book about a dragon, Marvel on the score report, and we got a totally awesome guest. The one, the only, the amazing, Mimi. Mimi is a radio personality who is a two-time Star Award winner and the host of For Peace on the Streets. Woo! How you doing? Doing good. You're doing a great job already. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Today, we're going to start off with the bully game of the week, and this is going to be a scary one. Oh. And now it's time for the video game of the week. Today's video game is Hotel. So this is a game with a Roblox platform. It was made by Samson16. Because it is on Roblox, you are able to play it on PC, Mac, Xbox, and even your cell phone. And it is free. Yes! You may remember Samson16 because they also made Camping, Camping 2, and Infection. Oh, first off, it is a scary game and one of the first horror games that my dad has allowed me to play. So you start off in a room with two elevators and you select one to enter into. That sends you into the game. You collect your key card from the front desk and then you go to your hotel room. Then here comes the good part. An alarm goes off and gives you instructions. Depending on the emergency, you will get instructions to either hide or go downstairs. You have to hide from the monster or get downstairs to safety. The part about this game that I like the most is the boss fight on the roof. You get to dodge his fire bombs and super large blast. I really enjoy getting to explore the entire hotel. There are two endings, and I really like it when I beat the monster and get safe. The under ending is, well, I will not give it away, but instead, you should play the game and find out for yourself. I give Hotel 10 out of 10 stars because it is so fun, and I really like scary games. It allows you to enjoy being in a hotel and being worried if the monster is going to get you. You get to explore and get stuff and find stuff. Plus, it makes you feel good. Yeah. I think all kids that like mysteries should play this game. I agree. Mm-hmm. Over 40 years, Lighthouse Central Florida has provided education, independent life skills, and job training to thousands of Central Floridians who live with blindness or any degree of vision loss. Whether it's picking out clothes in the morning or just moving around your community and serving orange, cinnamon, Osceola counties. Contact Lighthouse Central Florida at 407 898 2483 or visit them online at lighthousecfl.org. <laughs> See David Smith's law.com. You can call him at 407 801 2667. Wait, you are not Chuck. My dad can help when people get hurt. He loves to help. If you are ever injured at work or in a car accident, you should call my friend Chuck. You can call them at 407-801-2667. That website again is cwsmithwall.com. Offices, Orlando. Does it actually have that much W's? <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for the book of the week. Drag Breath, Attack of the Ninja Frogs. This book is read by Ursula Vernon. Well, let me read to the back of the book. In fact, Mimi, won't you want to do the honors? Absolutely. Thank you. When Suki the Salamander, the new foreign exchange student, is being stalked by ninja frogs, Danny, Wendell, the iguana, and Suki travel to great-grandfather Dr. Eggenbreth's home in mythical Japan to find a solution for the problem. So first off, this is an AR book with two points. Wow, that is a lot of points. Oh, yeah. It is at a fourth grade, three-month reading level. Huh. The story is about a dragon named Dragon Breath that eats pizza and that cannot be fire or fly, but he has no fear either. He has friends, Wendell the Iguana and Suki the Salamander. When Suki is being picked on by the ninja frogs, her friends are there to defend her. I thought the frogs were cool because they were ninjas. I know that the book is fiction because the animals are talking. And I really enjoyed the battle because this is a graphic book and you get to see all the images of the fight. This looks awesome. Mm, no kidding. If you want to get this book, 
It's the second book of Dragon Breath, and you can go at the Orange County Library System. So I can get this book right around here, and it's an AR book, and you gave the Dragon Breath attack for Ninja Frogs. Nine out of ten. So Dragon Breath, Attack of the Ninja Frogs, 9 out of 10 stars because it is a cool story and it feels like you are in the book while you were reading it. I got so interested in the story, I kept reading past it by 20 minutes a day. I read this book in two days. I think all kids that like graphic novels should read this book. I agree. The Ted Beard Show would like to thank one of our awesome sponsors, SlutchannelUS.com. These guys are very, very cool. They bring 21st century surface drainage solutions to reality. They can do corporate and government work. These are the guys that make roads and bridges safe in the rain. You can see all about them at SlotChannelUS.com. That website again is SlotChannelUS.com. The Type U Show would like to thank one of our dedicated sponsors, Custom Designs Orlando. These guys are on Mills Avenue and do all sorts of stuff, ranging from photo ID badges, engraved signs, custom Braille ADA signs, vinyl littering, to trophies and awards. They can ship products all over the United States. You can reach them at 407-898-0373. Now it's time for the interview of an interesting person. Today's guest is going to be so much fun. Today we have the one, the only, the amazing Mimi Mala. Mimi is an inspirational speaker that has been thriving in the entertainment industry. So first off, how do you enjoy being on the show? I love it. I love your energy. I think you're amazing. Thanks. So the trip right in, how, why did you decide to start and host a radio show? Good question. I wanted to give others a voice on air where they will be heard by multiple people. I see your bio says you focus on positive agenda. Can you explain what a positive agenda means and why is it important? Oh, good question. A positive agenda, it's uh, it's meaning it's more for a, a movement, a mission. And I want it to reach out to a lot of individuals in the entertainment field to give them a platform of security, um, feeling positive with a loving environment, also to inspire, motivate, and give others a voice to express themselves. Mm-hmm. Well, what's the best part about being a radio show host? The best part is meeting so many multiple individuals. There's so many talents, uh, so many people out there that have so much skills. Everybody has a gift. They're just trying to find their gift. And that's the amazing part. I'm surrounded by such successful, passionate, ambitious individuals, even as yourself from the age of eight years old and younger. Hey. <laughs> this is really only I'm like eight and a half because I'm turning nine next year. Oh! So. so tell me about your radio show. What is it all about? I bring a lot of um, special guests in. I, I cater to the community, a uh, local artists or independents of local s- small businesses. I-, I really stay focused on supporting the community and bringing the locals in. Mm-hmm. What was the coolest guest you ever had on your show? Oh, that's a hard one. Oh! The co- oh, I can't. That's a hard one. I really, I don't have one. There's too many. It's honestly, everybody that's on our show is the coolest. <laughs> when you were a kid, what did Marty do when you grew up? Did you always know you were going to be a radio show host and no, I actually, I didn't know I wanted to be in entertainment. I just didn't know exactly what. That's a great question. I started modeling at 13 years old and started traveling at that age. That's when I knew I was outgoing, independent, and spunky like yourself. So my dad said you are a two-time Stellar Award winner. What's a Stellar Award and why did you win? Ooh, good question. Stellar Award is a Christian-based award. It's the most prestigious award um, in the Christian community for winning and why or how do we win? I know that we won because the whole station, everybody involved, everybody has a piece and a part of making that movement. So it's all based off of the public. The public gets to vote for us. So I noticed you were always very exciting and have a smile on your face. 
Sometimes I don't feel like smiling before getting ready for a show. How do you get hyped up and get excited before getting on the air? I really enjoy being on the air. I think that naturally I'm just gets me hyped. And I'm a naturally hyped person anyway. <laughs> so I'm always walking around smiling, but that's good. I like that question. So I see this part in your bio said, that says, you don't care about fame or riches. But don't you need money to live? Wow, that's a good one. Absolutely. You do. You do need money to live. But if you work off of just getting money, and if that's your only focus, that is what will detour you from the true meaning of why you're here. Okay. So what is the difference of producing and being a radio show host? Great question. A radio show host is uh, most mostly a host that hosts the show and have others come on where you're hosting their conversations or you're hosting, you know, the live interviews. But a producer creates the show. They develop the show. Creative minds, they establish, they develop. That's the difference. So every segment and every guest I have on my show is produced by me. Great question. What was the first job you ever had? Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. What? <laughs> I actually was a character. When? That's when I knew I like entertainment. Oh, I don't want to say the year, but it was several years ago. <laughs> Coming to Universal this year, this summer. Yes. It's awesome. That's awesome. Was there anything you learned from that job that helped you to be a better radio show host? I think it really got me to be very uh, personable with people. Um, it, it's necessary to work at a theme park. And it, it got me out of my box. It got me to really relate and speak to people more. Yeah. Okay, okay. So if my listeners wanted to go to be an award-winning radio show host, what advice would you give the world? Who am I kidding? I want to be a top-notch radio show host. What advice would you give me? Stay the way you are. You are the one that made this. So who you are, don't change. Just make sure you stay respectful to others okay. and you help others on the way, along the way. Good, that's good, that's good. So your show airs on WOKB, 1680 AM. Why did you like WOKB as a radio station to air your show? Oh, I love WOKB. I have to give a big shout out to my family, WOKB, 1680 AM. We air on Wednesdays. I love the environment. I love the atmosphere. And I am so blessed to be with them. So how do we get my show on WOKB? Oh, we're going to talk about that. We will. <laughs> what was the biggest mistake you ever made? And how did it change about the first? Wow, that's a great question. Hmm. I don't really think... I don't really think I've had... You know what? Everyone's had a mistake. I guess I would say um, just not listening to my parents. Um, but there's been times where I haven't listened to them and I've gotten in trouble. And they have warned me before. So I, I would say just not listening to them. So, like, where were you at when you were on a school trip today? I was actually on a school trip with my oldest son. That's 11. Shout out to Royal. And we went to his school to receive his laptop and meet a couple of his teachers. His first time he's going into middle school. Yes, it's huge. He's he's really a little, he's nervous actually. So when you are not working, what do you do for fun? Ah, I, you know, believe it or not, work is fun to me. I actually like doing this. And I like traveling, I like to go to events, I like meeting multiple people, I enjoy myself. This is, this is, this is fun to me. Isn't it fun for you? <laughs> yes. Okay, so do you play video games? What's your favorite one? I do play video games. I am old school. I go back into Mortal Kombat. And Mortal Kombat has released one. You're too young. Tiberius, you're too young. No, I, do you play? I play it. I play it. I play it. <laughs> oh, I play it. <laughs> That's my favorite game. I literally have Mortal Kombat 11 on that computer. Yes. No kidding. And I'm usually the winner. I usually beat everybody. <laughs> If we go to a place, there's a pinball that has Mortal Kombat. Oh, in that's it. cool. Pinball? Yeah. 
who has pinball and Mortal Kombat. There's arcade games. Oh, nice. And you should definitely go there. Maybe my dad would go with you, and then he might beat you in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> so the name of the place is Silver Ball Museum. Never heard of it. I have to check that out. That sounds amazing. <laughs> nice. We drove all the way there. Go to a hotel, get all the stuff in there, get all the stuff that we needed, and then we got ready. <laughs> guess what? I got a new high score. <laughs> one of them. No kidding. It was like no high score, so I said it. <laughs> no kidding. It was 186 million, so it was like no kidding. Wow. And I keep getting them gold. I like that. So, okay. So what is your favorite book? I have to say Stephen King. All of Stephen King books. I really don't have a favorite, but I, my favorite author is Stephen King. Yeah, he's amazing. Mm -hmm. His mind is so creative. Okay, okay. But can you tell me that one story you don't remember? This is a kid's show. But that one story, well, that you're not supposed to tell me about. Come on, you can tell me. <laughs> I could say. I know. It's one of those guys. It is. You almost got me, but listen to this. When I was actually hosting a show that you was around for, that big show um, that was going on in the mall, yeah, but I was hosting that, and I was all walking off stage. I fell, and nobody caught it but Mr. Rob that works at the event. So I actually fell because the heels, and that's why I don't really like to wear so much heels, but it, that was embarrassing. But I kept it moving. And I come to find out, nobody even mentioned it. Is there anything you should think my listeners should know about you? I just definitely want them to know that there is a home here where we're at, um, if I may say Orlando. There's a home here that you gotta, you know, a lot of people gotta come out and reach out to us that are on radio. Give us the opportunity, come out, be a special guest, expose themselves, and give us a chance. Here in Orlando, we have so many multiple talents out here, and starting at the age of eight years old. So we got to really shoot and make sure we represent Orlando and let others know we got big things out here, huh, Tiberius? Yes! So do you have a website or Facebook for my listeners that want to follow you? I do. I have a website, peaceonthestreets.com. They can check out all of our work and see what our show consists of. And also Facebook, which is facebook.com, uh, steward management. And that is a management business where I started, where I first originated for the radio show, Peace on the Streets. Okay. Yes. Maybe I might go on Facebook today and go on to that. You have to. Yeah, I have Facebook. Do you? Oh! Yeah. So what is that one question that you think I forgot to ask? Oh, man. Oh. It's another one of those sketchy questions. It is. How about this? Where do I see myself in the next five or ten years? So where do you see yourself in the next five or ten years? <laughs> I see myself going international, being well known for Orlando, and bringing Orlando family in. So that includes you. We will all be a part of this journey. I think in the next five or ten years, which I'm already national already, <laughs> I'll think I'll already <laughs> go like over the whole world. Traveling and everything. Yes! <laughs> yes! Thank you, baby, for being my special guest. Can you stick around for math corners? Absolutely! Midstate Fire has been providing top quality fire equipment services for three generations to the Central Florida area. Don't wait for an emergency to repair. Call Midstate Fire today at 407-246-8855. Get your fire extinguishers and emergency lighting for both your home and businesses by visiting www.midstatefire.com. That number again is 407-246-8855. The Tribea Show would like to thank Boggy Creek Day Road Adventures for being one of our sponsors. I got to go on an air belt and saw a real gator. I even got to go to the gem mine and mine for some gems. We ate a steak dinner at the restaurant and even got some gator rights. If you want to have a blast with the entire family, I suggest you go to www.bcr.com.
bcairboats.com right now. Get your tickets today. The website again is bcairboats.com. Oak Ridge Gun Range is a family-oriented shooting range that has been in business for over 30 years. They specialize in basic firearm training and offer numerous services such as consignments, gun trades, gunsmithing, and concealed weapon classes. I even got my training for gun safety at Oak Ridge Gun Range. Great customer service and firearm safety is what they do best. So find out more at OakRidgeGunRange.com. Get ready, it's time for the Bowling Score Report! I gotta go to Boardwalk Bowl, and I got out a 91, a 92, and a 127. I got to play with Ellie and no one else. It was the last day of summer bowling, and we played against a bunch. It was a lot of fun to talk to the other kids on the other lanes. I also got to meet Coach Jeannie. She will be in the fall league. So, if you want to go bowling with me, be sure to drive at the new fall league at Boardwalk Bowling Saturdays at 10 a.m. in the morning, bro. Yes! No oh, bowling on Saturdays at 10 a.m.? Oh, yes, I do. Are you with the league or are you by yourself? League. What? How old? Um, I, I started the league when I was like three. So, you've been in since three years old. You have all eight year olds with you? Some of them older? Like four, ten. Wow! Yeah. We might have to come. Yeah. Yes! I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm sure, I'm sure you beat me too. No problem, me. I think I will. <laughs> Spit it a lot so, so we can go like. Oh, we're gonna have to try it. We're gonna have to go bowling with you. Oh, you might not like it. Two hands, but you might not. <laughs> Wow! What's the highest score you can even get? Wow! It's cool. So are you a lefty or righty? Uh, I'm righty. Oh, I got it. Are you lefty? I, I am. <laughs> yeah. But I do fit with one handed. Right handed? He's got the posture and, and everything. This is great. So you've been bowling at four years old since four? No. Two and a half. Huh. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. It's got the genius. And also, my high score is a 157. Wow. No kidding. And I almost beat it this summer. And you're so young. I got a 154, bro. Wow. I love it. Tiberius' favorite subject, it's Math Corners. And now it's time for Math Corners. Thank you so much, Mimi, for helping me with Math Corners. Today, we can just talk about frequency. So I've been doing my AXL.com math questions over the summer, and well, I got to a section called frequency. The dictionary says frequency is the rate of which something occurs or is repeated over a particular period of time. So let's take an example of that. Say we give a ball to 20 students. Each student is told to bounce the ball against the wall as many times as they can only using one hand. The number of times that the ball hits the wall will be different because of the different skill levels of the students and their physical ability. So some students will be able to do it two or three times and some will be able to do it five or six times. The students that play outside a lot and play ball will be able to do it over ten times. To represent this, we can make a frequency chart. The repeated action is the bouncing of the ball. So first you start off with the heading. So in one column you put the number of students and in the second column you put the frequency which is how many times the ball is bounced on the wall. So with the frequency of zero and one, there are zero students that did that one. With the frequency of two, there were four students, and so on and on. So you write down the findings in the chart, and then you can do an analysis. See, this is the data, and it's already in a chart. Remember, we talked about an analysis last week. Now, you can use the chart or be able to solve problems like, how many times total was the ball bounced, or how many students total? bounce the ball at least five times. So Mimi, do you know all about how to make a frequency chart? I think I do. Math is used on radio. We have to figure out numbers, how many people listen, the demographics of area that it supports, and 
women to men percentage. So math is we're surrounded by math, even on radio. Thank you so much, Mimi, for your help with math. And now it's time for Heart of a Lion. We at the Tiberius Show like living with the heart of a lion. Living with the heart of a lion stands for leadership, integrity, obedience, and nobility. We asked Dr. Ferret exactly what that means. Leadership is really about influence. Leadership is, and the way we define it is good leadership, is about setting the right example and encouraging other people to do the right thing. Integrity is about doing right no matter what. Through life there are a lot of different circumstances that arise, and integrity is someone who shows integrity. It doesn't matter what all the external things are, they always choose to do what is right. Obedience is about obeying those who are in authority over you, whether that's a teacher, a boss, a parent, that when you are asked to do something, that you respond with obedience quickly and completely. Nobility is about having respect. It's about carrying yourself with respect and showing respect to others. When you put these four things together, that's Lion Strong. This week, we're going to talk about integrity. For me, I think integrity is doing what is right even when no one else is looking. Hmm. The qualities of integrity is honesty, sincerity, truthfulness, and fairness. So I picked integrity because I saw in your file that it said you are a woman of integrity. Oh! But when I looked about how I use integrity this week, well, I found that I really need some help in this area. Hmm. See, I've been getting up and skipping my eggs up and using the computer to watch videos and play like Roblox. I'm supposed to do my eggs up first. So that is not doing what is right even when no one else is looking. Hmm. Then when my dad asked if I had done my eggs so I told him I had. Well, that is not truthful or honest, so I'm really going to work on hard on this one. I'm going to do my eye excels each day before I get on my computer for fun. And I'm going to work extra hard on only telling the truth. I think this week is hard because I am admitting to my needing help with integrity. But see, I have already started because that is true for us. I'm already on my way back to integrity. There you go. Today is my first day back at school. So it is going to be a good time to work on being my Yes. So Mimi, did you see or use integrity at all speak? Actually, yes. Every day, all day is a battle. Integrity is important. Um, every day you go through it. You ask questions or, you know, any anything that consists in work, sports, anything you do. It's highly important because your word, it means everything. Good job on that word, though, integrity. And good job on reading the Bible. You're very smart and you pick it up great vocabulary words. Oh, no words. <laughs> me and my dad. Love it. Help me. It's great. I love it. A bowl of the heart of a lion of virtues. Which is your favorite? Oh, honestly, I think they, all of it, it all consists of very, well, it's very important. Well, I have to choose one? I could choose all. It has to be all. Leadership, highly important. Integrity follows right after leadership. Obedience, you can't be a leader without that. Good job. And that's our show, folks. I want to thank the one, the only, Mimi Mala for being my special guest this week. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I just learned so much when talking to you today. And I hope to learn from your example how to be a better broadcaster and maybe one day see you in your studio. Yes! This is Mimi from WLKB 6080 AM, Peace on the Streets radio show. Check us out on Wednesday nights, 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern Time, the RB Quiet Storm. And guess what, Tiberius? This interview right now will be aired on my show. So, guys, check it in. Tune in. We'll release the date and time. Woo! Next week on the Tiberius Show with your host, Tiberius! The Tiberius Show is not filmed in front of a live studio audience. Executive producer, Joseph Boy. Production editor, Pierre Laguerre. Green Room manager, Danny Boy. Broadcast associate, James Smith. And your program host, Tiberius Boy! 
The Tiberius Show is copyright 2018.